Uh, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another live session by New Delhi Film Foundation. We at NDFF try to bring insightful conversations with those involved in process of filmmaking in our new series called Director's Cut. Today, we have with us Amartya Bhattacharya and Swastik Chaudhary, director and producer of, of Audio Godard. Audio Godard premiered at the 43rd, 43rd Moscow Film Festival this year. The film, with its unique title, plays a homage to the famous French director through the, by telling a story of an old man who gets infatuated by the art of cinema by watching uh, Godard's film. Um, Amartya and Fastik, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, thank you. My first, thank my you. first question, my first question is to Amartya. Um, so, Amartya, can you tell us about the idea of the film, where it came from, where it uh, germinated? Yeah. So, uh, firstly, uh, hello everyone, and uh, thank you for inviting me here. Uh, so yes, uh, this film, uh, so like all my films, they originate in spontaneity. I don't believe in planning and drafting and, uh, you know, uh, manipulating things because I feel that every plan is a manipulation. Sometimes planning is required, but that in a sense is a manipulation because you are not true to the time you're making. So when I write my script, I don't think about when I'm going to make the film, why I'm going to make the film, who's going to watch this film. So all these things don't come to my mind. I just do what I feel like. Doing. I write what I feel like. Doing. Now, because uh, John Lou Godard happens to be one of the uh, one of my most favorite filmmakers, perhaps the most favorite filmmaker of mine. And uh, I, I, it would be dishonest of me to say if I have been inspired by his filmmaking. No, I'm not. Uh, I have not really adopted his style in filmmaking, but he is the most admirable filmmaker that I know because he has revolutionized the language of cinema uh, in a lot of ways, uh, in a lot of ways. And I don't think that he is a French new wave filmmaker. He is a global phenomenon and uh, a legend in the world of cinema. Uh, calling him a French author would may not be justice because uh, he happens to be a Swiss French filmmaker, but uh, he, he is a global uh, phenomenon. Uh, now, why I made uh, when I made this film, when I wrote this film, the only thing that I was uh, doing is I was trying to uh, make a narrative film or write a narrative film. There was no such reason why, uh, but perhaps if I look back and think why what the reason was, I would perhaps think that because all my previous films were very abstract and absurdist and people were trying to uh, you know think that uh, why is this guy always making the non-linear non-narrative abstract uh, absurdist films i perhaps thought that let me try to write a write a narrative film for once and uh, that is how i wrote this film which is uh, for the first time i'm making a narrative film this film has a linear storyline and uh, I think that this is a film that will be enjoyed by one and all. Mm, there are also uh, a lot of humor in this film, uh, but the humor uh, has multiple layers. If you want to just look at the humor at the surface, you will get entertained by it. If you want to look and dive deeper, uh, there's always a scope. So, jaise aap dekhna chahenge, jaise aap, uh, usko perceive karna chahenge, I think uh, you will have an opportunity to do that. Right. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Swastik, uh, uh, firstly, I just wanted to understand how and when did you come on board with the project and uh, what were the conversations that the two of you had uh, to get to get you on the same page with the creative vision of the film? Patrick, you're not audible. I I don't think so you're audible. I'm not able to hear you. Amartya, can you hear Swasti? Uh, I can hear you. I can uh, I am not able to hear Swasti. Yeah, same. Um 
Uh, all right, anyway, we can come to Swastik once the uh, issue is right. Uh Yeah, yeah, Swastik. Hello. Yeah. Yes, now you're on. Yeah. Uh, should, I, should I repeat the question? Swastik, should I repeat the question? I'm not sure he's able to hear. Um, anyway, um, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Amanda, yeah, yeah, Swastik, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Should, should I repeat the question? Yeah. So, no, no, I heard the question. Let me, let me take it up. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, uh, uh, very good, uh, good morning to every viewer uh, here. Uh, so coming on board for this film, I mean, the thing is, uh, me and Amartya have been on board for, for since the beginning of the last uh, seven years or eight years when we started into this journey of making films. So um, uh, for this particular film, when when we discussed about this particular idea, when uh, I was just uh, told that we uh, there is a film which we want to kind of have a uh, should be dedicated to uh, John Luke Godard in a uh, in a different sense, not by um, you know having a very serious approach towards uh, the content that that generally he makes, but in a very humorous way, in a very in a way where it actually has a uh, a very subtle um, socio uh, uh, socio uh, cultural uh, backdrop to it, and uh, with that and the discussion that we had, like how we will want to uh, take it uh, forward. Uh, so, so I, I found the entire idea very interesting. I found that this is something that will be really uh, a very different kind of a cinema that we can make uh, where uh, somewhere uh, in, a, in a very small remote village, a person getting attracted towards John Luke Godard and his style of filmmaking. Uh, that is something will be a very different out of the box kind of a thought. Um, and then how he uh, takes it forward um, and how he wants that everybody in his village uh, we try to embrace uh, John Luke Godard, which is something a very impossible uh, kind of a thought process. So, as he could discussion with initially, he ye kasi interesting rahegi ye film banane se and all. And uh, we, we both uh, generally, I'm looking Hamesha, it's a talmil rahi hai cinema ki approach ko leke and all that uh, since the beginning. So, I was always uh, like uh, willing to make this film with him. Right. Um, uh, Amartya, uh, I wanted to ask you that, uh, so with the onset of the pandemic and the limitations that came with the changing times, how was it, especially with this project, how was it to go through with the completion of the project during the, uh, during the turbulence yeah. of the pandemic? So uh, firstly, it has been a very challenging uh, couple of years for the entire world. I'm sure it will be challenging for you, for me, for Swastik, for all of us. And for all our viewers who are watching this uh, program right now, um, it is very unfortunate that we have to deal with uh, with such a time, with such a challenge, uh, in spite of having so much of technology, there's that uh, the human beings are still suffering for some for for a virus which is uh, which is not visible in naked eyes. Uh, anyway, so coming to how this film was made, thankfully, thankfully the film was shot before the pandemic. And uh, but it doesn't mean that the film was totally complete before the pandemic. There were some phases of post-production which was going on, and as you know, that post-production is mostly indoor activity. And uh, our crew size it's very very limited. Even in shooting, uh, we shoot with just uh, three four people, and uh, at max seven eight on a given day. Uh, but uh, for post production, you don't require so many people. It's just uh, maybe in sound post production, you need a, uh, a sound recordist, a sound designer, and uh, maybe myself as a director. Or once in a while, you may require a producer to just come and see. So uh, it's not a big team who's involved. So post production was therefore not a big challenge. Uh, but if the film was not completely shot before the pandemic, then it could have been a very dif different scenario. But thankfully, we completed the shoot before the pandemic. So that that's how that's how the film uh, happened, and uh, 
but it doesn't mean that when we completed the film it was all uh, wonderful gala gala no because uh, when you complete the film the film's journey starts from there it starts from there as in uh, then you try to send to the festivals you try to meet the programmers you try to show the film to the world but unfortunately because of the pandemic everything was shut down most of the festivals were cancelled uh, some were postponed and a lot of uh, chaos was going on in the in the world of cinema and even today everything is not yet 100% settled uh, as one may imagine uh, but at least uh, one has an idea as to how to go about things but when the pandemic started we all were just uh, we, we, we were just waiting for it to get over and it didn't get over yet uh, so slowly and gradually we figured out that no some festivals were cancelled some were delayed and that uh, we cannot wait with a film you know, because a film has its time uh, although although some films uh, like the films we made uh, make are not, will not become irrelevant after any span of time it will always have its relevance but still a fresh film is always a fresh film because um, you know a, a, a thought is conceived and uh, a thought is executed at a given point of time so ek samay ka chhap rehta hai film mein technologically bhi bahut kuch change ho jata hai ha na 5 saal pehle jo film banta tha jaise technology tha aaj jo film ban raha hai look and feel mein ek difference aa jata hai 5 saal baad bhi look and feel mein ek difference aa jata hai aa jayega i'm sure so ye ye ek challenge hai ki ki how we how we stay to relevant to the time even technologically and showcase our film Uh, so i am happy that uh, we were able to world premiere the film in a physical festival and a festival as prestigious as the moscow international film festival which happens to be a a listed cf accredited festival so that that is that is a great boost for us and coming september next month uh, adiv godar is uh, screening at the split film festival in croatia which is another very prestigious uh, film festival so ye sab platform ye uh, pandemic mein bhi hum logo ko mila uh this is something uh, something we really cherish right um actually i just think a question just came to my mind uh, uh, uh from the that you just came uh, of course the pandemic like you said the shooting was done before the pandemic but during the pandemic i'm sure during the lockdown you must have had a lot of long hours of doing nothing uh did you ever feel that uh, you know maybe this story may not work in the post pandemic world where the concerns are different the stakes are higher um so what what were there any doubts that maybe this story belongs to the pre pandemic world and uh, maybe people want to watch something different uh, you know once the pandemic uh, becomes our reality it became a reality so was there any uh, fear or any apprehension about that no i think uh, it's rather uh, it's rather the other way around because of the pandemic it's a very gloomy situation and because it's a very gloomy situation a fresh film as humorous and satirical as this will come as a breath of fresh air and i'm sure it will uh, it will rejuvenate you from within and uh, it will work like a healer man push kar dega so mujhe nahi lagta hai ki there will be a lot of impact mujhe lagta hai rather people will be welcoming such a film even more that is my assumption of course i may be wrong but uh, mai aisa hi soch raha hu Right. And also, I think, also say what he is thinking. Yeah, also I think that the Moscow में जब ये screening हुई थी, we had uh, some of the viewers जिन्होंने uh, personally message किए थे uh, over the Facebook and all. And uh, uh, I mean they were they were particularly uh, इस बात को ज़्यादा अहमियत दे रहे थे कह रहे थे कि uh, जब ये screening हुई थी, so most of the humorous part and all, although it's it's a uh it's a uh, audience was completely russian they had the russian subtitles to follow uh but they were all the entire hall was laughing and they were enjoying uh the all the humorous portions of the film and everybody had a great time so this was some of the uh feedback uh, from people who we don't know personally they wrote to us so so ye kahin na kahin ye baat bhi kehta hai ki because of this pandemic the kind of uh uh unwanted pressure ke andar mein sare log uh, entire world mein sare log jahan pe reh bhi rahe hain तो ये एक काइंड ऑफ ओपनिंग उनको एक मिलती है कि टू एंजॉय और सी समथिंग इन अ वेरी लाइवली मैनर एंड स्टिल चेरिश सिनेमा तो माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एक्चुअली टू बोथ ऑफ यू बट सो फॉर एन एस्पायरिंग फिल्म समथिंग दैट आई एम श्योर 
a lot of people want to understand uh, for an aspiring filmmaker um, how to approach with a script that they have to a producer say like you fasting i know what do you look at in a film what do you look at in a um, in a synopsis in a film when you are approached with some approached by a filmmaker uh, what should one be looking at and what should one be mindful of uh, before approaching a producer with a film so basically um see ek ek director ki ek vision hoti hai a director has certain idea some vision that uh, he or she may want to bring to the world bring to the We lost. Yeah. We lost uh, Amartya, do you want to take over? Like, yeah. Like, sure, sure. 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 फर्स्टली मुझे लगता है कि प्रोड्यूसर्स हु फर्स्ट में प्रोड्यूसर्स का इंटेंट देखो आई वुड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द पर्सन बिकॉज 90 परसेंट ऑफ द प्रोड्यूसर्स इफ यू कैन जस्ट इफ आई जस्ट टॉक टू देम फॉर टू मिनट्स आई विल नो दैट दे विल नॉट बी माय प्रोड्यूसर्स माय फ्रेंड्स प्रोड्यूसर्स बिकॉज वो दिखता है वो झलकता है कि उनका इंटेंशन क्या है किसी को फिल्म uh, लेके बहुत छेड़खानी करना है फॉर मॉनिटरी बेनिफिट्स किसी को एक फिल्म लेके एक फिल्म के पीछे बनाने के पीछे बहुत सारे अदर वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट्स रहता है सो प्रोड्यूसर्स आर ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर नॉट अ गुड टाइप गुड इन अगेन इट्स अ वेरी सब्जेक्टिव वर्ड बट आई 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 एम टेकिंग द लिबर्टी ऑफ यूजिंग दैट लैंग्वेज आई हैव बीन वेरी डिसअपॉइंटेड विद द विद द विद द नेचर ऑफ प्रोड्यूसर्स दैट वी सी इन द फिल्म इंडस्ट्री अनफॉर्चुनेटली कोई एडुकेटेड लोग कोई अच्छा इंटेंट लेके कोई बहुत नोबल थॉट लेके फिल्म प्रोड्यूस करने नहीं आता है एंड दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई इंडियन सिनेमा इज इन सच अ डिस्गस्टिंग स्टेट राइट नाउ नहीं तो आई डोंट थिंक देयर इज एनी एनी डेप्थ ऑफ टैलेंट टैलेंट बहुत है इस देश में इतना करोड़ों का देश में टैलेंट नहीं है तो कहाँ टैलेंट टैलेंट बहुत है इट्स जस्ट दैट द टैलेंटेड पीपल आर डाइंग ऑन द स्ट्रीट Uh, they are not endorsed by talented producers because producers ke andar kya hai i don't know unfortunately money is in the wrong hands hai na jiske paas idea hai uske paas paisa nahi hai jiske paas paisa hai uske paas idea nahi hai ye problem so thankfully thankfully i know somebody like swasti who is always eager to produce uh, good films because he comes from a very different background he is not a stamped producer from the industry he is absolutely not that therefore he comes from a very different background with a different thought process uh, he wants to make good odia films because he feels that there must be a revolution in odia cinema and that uh, ye jo ye jo ek ek odia cinema bhi bahut highlighted nahi tha ek time pe uh, because of a lot of reasons good and bad reasons true and false reasons whatever they are but fact is that it was not a glorified industry Uh, so he always thought that if we can make some good odia films we can revive at least the respect the prestige you know so that is what he was fighting for initially uh, which i thought is a very noble vision he was never looking ki mujhe ye film se itna crore kamana mujhe is film se uh, is film ke piche banane ke liye i need this and that and all the rubbish things that you all read in the newspapers right he doesn't have any of those intentions so see this is where you connect to a person कि सिनेमा इज द कनेक्शन सिनेमा मस्ट बी द कनेक्शन अनफॉर्चुनेटली डायरेक्टर प्रोड्यूसर के बीच में देर आर मेनी कनेक्शन बट नॉट द फिल्म मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स सो हियर फिल्म इज द कनेक्शन तो ये दिस इज अ मेजर पॉइंट एंड व्हेन मैं अगेन व्हेन आई वुड लाइक टू पिच टू अ प्रोड्यूसर आई वुड ऑलवेज वांट टू नो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बीइंग दैट प्रोड्यूसर इज नंबर 1 आई मे कॉम्प्रोमाइज विद माय बजट बट आई कांट कॉम्प्रोमाइज विद माय आर्ट so budget is not a very big deal uh, we can see how to cut down budget how to manage a film in low budget but koi agar bolega jaise i met a film producer who wanted to produce my film bol raha hai tumhara film ka standard idhar hai tum isko idhar lao mera manna hai ki nahi main idhar nahi aaunga tum apne aap ko udhar leke jao the problem is that 
so everybody wants to bring down the quality of aesthetics the quality of cinema because they feel that is that is how they will connect and their ego will be boosted uh, because if they don't understand the film they, they, their ego is not boosted so as a ye like a cinema nahi ban sakta so uh, i want to know the film another thing is many producers are script obsessed see script is only a piece of literature it is not cinema it is not cinema you can make very very beautiful and brilliant films without a script and i have done it myself many people have done it so it's not something new i am not cracking something which nobody has heard before somebody who was aware of the world of cinema will know even john lu godar is one of the examples where he had arranged everything and started shooting without having a script and many masters have done this unfortunately in india content content script dekhna hai mujhe script padhna hai itna script obsession kyu hai we are not producing a script we are producing a cinema cinema ek satantra shilp ye hai it's a, it's a, it's a very uh, independent art form on its own it may or may not base itself on literature even if it bases itself on literature a good script doesn't mean it will be a good film you get a lot of shitty films in the market out of very good scripts right so script proves nothing so ye jo script obsession hai mujhe script dekhna hai mujhe synopsis par it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything ha a script dekh ke you can judge whether you can judge a director's thought process ha ye aap zarur kar sakte ho but nothing more than that a script doesn't guarantee you a good cinema or a bad cinema right right um i'm out hello i'm i'm audible yeah 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 all right uh, so uh, of course i agree with you that you know script is uh, nothing but just a helping hand if anything you know yeah. it doesn't guarantee anything it doesn't uh, promise anything and of course what happens on what really makes a film is what happens on set and of course later in the edit room i think these two uh, parts of yeah. filmmaking are extremely important uh, which brings me to my next question uh, when you making this film uh how did you talk to train your actors how did you communicate with your actors what you wanted to uh, what what you wanted from them um uh, what yeah. was that relationship so, like right so this is another very important question because most of my actors uh, are uh, non actors or actors for the first time uh, non actors bolna theek nahi hai because uh, william shakespeare ne bola all the world's a stage and all men and women may be players they have their exits and their entrances so who am i to say non actor nobody is non actor everybody is an actor they act as themselves it's only when you give them to an actor character how they perform that is the question so mai uh, when i chose these actors uh, the first thing i want uh, i wanted to understand is whether they have time and dedication ye do cheez mai zarur dekhta hu ek hai time ek hai dedication ye dono cheez mein ek bhi agar nahi hai then you cannot you cannot work on my film because it demands time and dedication uh, so uh, i chose people who who were dedicated who had uh, who were able to devote that time to me and uh, swastik also knows that we we had long long rehearsal sessions for months almost for 5 to 6 months i had rehearsals with uh, with all my actors because i am very particular about a lot of things Uh, from from the vocal intonation to the body language to the way one uh, looks to the when way one behaves i'm very particular uh, not all filmmakers are so particular about it and i won't say that it's always good to be so uh, picky about things or it's not good to be so picky about things but it's my way that i i want most of my actors i try to control them as much as possible but it doesn't mean that i don't give space to actors like Uh, the lead actor in this film adiv godar is choudhury bikas das uh, who is playing the role of anand the old man who happens to be a pornography addict uh, in a in a village so that, that he is an actor who i feel should be set free so i have not tried to control him so i study the psyche of each and every character uh, actor of my film and uh, if i get an actor who i feel should be set free i don't try to tie them up and to try to uh, you know uh, confine them within certain limitations i try to set them free whereas there are other actors who are uh, who would be lost if i set them free so for them it is very important to rehearse uh, ek ek intonation ek ek choti choti cheez 
कैसे उठना है कैसे घूमना है कैसे देखना है कैसे बैठना है कैसे सोना है हर चीज वो अगर माइन्यूटली नहीं रिहर्स होगा ना वो बहुत प्रॉब्लम है पीपल थिंक दैट ज्यादा रिहर्सल होगा तो एवरीथिंग विल बी स्टेज नहीं समटाइम्स यू हैव टू रिहर्स सो वेल दैट इट फील्स दैट इट्स नॉट रिहर्स लाइक आई विल नॉट नेम अ नेम फिल्म मेकर अ वेरी ग्रेट इरानियन फिल्म मेकर ही मेड अ फिल्म अ फ्यू इयर्स बैक everybody thought that the all the actors just came and acted there was it was a non rehearsed film a very spontaneous film they were all wrong the film was extremely well rehearsed extremely well rehearsed and it was so well rehearsed that people got an idea that there was no rehearsal at all wo spontaneity jhalak raha tha to wo spontaneity ko lane ke liye from a non trained or non experienced actor you have to go through a lot of rehearsal तो वो वो मेहनत हम लोग किए हैं आई एम थैंकफुल टू स्वस्तिक एज अ प्रोड्यूसर ही नेवर ट्राई टू हरी मी कि नहीं 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 जल्दी जल्दी करते हैं इतना टाइम जा रहा है वो सब नहीं था गुड दैट स्वस्तिक सच अ प्रोड्यूसर जो ये सब झमेला में नहीं लाते हैं लोग सो इट गिव्स अ लॉट ऑफ कम्फर्ट यू नो यू कैन वर्क आउट यू कैन स्पेस आउट द इंटायर थिंग सो ऐसे ही हो so a lot basically depends of uh, how you want to uh, uh, what do you want to get, make uh, get out of a cinema so whether you want to make a cinema for a purpose of churning out uh, you know a product or whether you want to make a cinema for the purpose of bringing out an art so a lot depends on that psyche on that particular mood uh, of how you are approaching towards making a cinema so basically for me not hurrying or anything i mean there was no reason to hurry because at the end of the day we both wanted uh, that a good film should come out of it whatever effort and whatever time it is taking uh, that should be worth it and secondly coming to the actors point of view i have been extremely uh, i will say extremely fortunate that uh, i have also been uh, cast casted by uh, amarth as as actors in some of our own films only Uh, because he uh, initially i started as an actor with our uh, with our initial days and all that and i i became a producer by chance uh, because we we didn't find someone to produce the films that we wanted to do that's a different story um, but then then the whole uh, uh, process of of being in front of the camera is something very uh, Uh, is is kind of a st- school in itself when you when you are working with amarth it, it itself in itself is a school where you get to learn a lot of things you get to learn the psyche of the character when you get to learn the mannerisms of the character and then um, unless you start believing that you are that character yourself uh, i i think you will not be able to uh, bring out what the director is actually uh, has uh, is having the vision for so this entire uh, few years of of acting in in the films that amarth himself has directed has itself been a revelation for me, uh, for me as an actor as well um, uh, another thing i wanted to add here sorry i just wanted to add one small thing here that swastik has been a part of almost all my films uh, as an actor as a producer uh, and uh, he's a fantastic actor we are talking to him more like a producer here in this program but he is a fantastic actor uh, because of one reason just one reason that he is extremely dedicated extremely dedicated because that is what i because he did not come from a background of theaters or he did not come from a background of uh, you know a childhood acting he did not come from that background but when you look at his performance uh, even from moscow somebody wrote that the best scene they described was a scene where only swastik was in the play so it was a, a so seen by swastik which they loved the most in the film so this happens because of his dedication he is always willing to give that extra and uh, so sabse acha lagta hai na wo shooting ke time mein bahut time mein aisa hua hai ki bola uh, hu it's okay chal jayega it's, it's a good shot chalega swastik bolta nahi aur ek kar le maine aur ek de to ye jo attitude hai na ki maybe jo initially take hua tha wahi rahega final that's not a problem but that somebody is willing to give that extra that gives you a lot of comfort a lot of confidence and it also uh, you know lifts the spirit of all the team members sabko lagta hai ki ye additional task koi task nahi hai ye koi naya mehnat nahi hai ye spirit hai ye apna spirit hai aur ek dekh kya hai acha hua hai aur acha ho sakta hai ek aur ek so this is this is the spirit that we work with and actors ke andar bhi ye spirit rehna important 
So uh, we have we have really been also fortunate to have worked with some of these uh, extremely, uh, you know, very dedicated actors. Also, um, I'll name a couple of more of who, with whom we have continuously worked. Uh, so Deepanik is one of them. Uh, he has also acted in this film. So uh, while Amartya was talking about the fact that right that the process of of becoming a character and all that, so we have seen people with whom we have worked over a period of time. So after a certain uh, one film, two films, you really uh, know that they are also understanding what as a as a director somebody is asking for or is looking for, and you don't have to go into those details. So in fact, uh, Priyanka also, who has also uh, been part of some of his, although not in Adieu Godar. Uh, but in the previous films, uh, Runanu Bandha and the upcoming uh, films as well. So the way all of these people, which are coming from a different background, they have actually, uh, you said that we have to do something. Samarpan karna, as an so as an actor, samarpan karna is such something a very uh, important factor. No one, no one actor for it. When they want to actually, you know, shed. We have always our own one, one, one. नकाब या कुछ कुछ तो अपना एक बैकग्राउंड से हम लोग होता है ना कि वी वी वेयर दैट मास्क ओके तो जब तक वो मास्क टूटता नहीं है वी कैन नॉट इवॉल्व एज एन एक्टर यू कैन नॉट इवॉल्व इनटू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट शेड्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू पुट तो वो मास्क उतरना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड बोले हैं मास्क मेनी पीपल डोंट नो दैट पर्सनालिटी मींस पर्सना इज मींस मास्क Uh, it's a latin word which means mask and personality is the ability to carry mask log bolte hain mera personality bahut strong i have a strong but that has a strong personality it is the ability to carry a mask so it sounds very interesting but that's how it is so when he says wo mask ko utarna he means that you have to come out of your own personality If your personality always dominates the personality of a character then wo character personality mein ghus ke ho jaye to remove that mask from your face and wear another mask or take up another personality right right um yeah that is actually wonderful uh, uh, insight here uh but coming back to the film now coming back to the film uh the film of course is about the love of the moving image right um it begins from a very different um uh, fascination of the movie image um, starting from a pornographic space and comes to uh, cinema the more conventional idea of cinema as we know um so i want to understand for both of you uh, when did your uh, fascination with cinema with the movie image uh, begin when what was the time and how did you develop an interest and decided to uh, you know become a filmmaker or a producer um, and be a part of you know the process of making films I'm not even go first. So for me, yeah, sure. Uh, so for me, uh, from my very young days, maybe from the age of six, I'm acting on stage. Uh, so I have been a stage actor, not a professional stage actor. Because when I say stage actor, people think that it's a very professional theater that I have been doing. But no, how I have been doing a very passionate theater. So we we were we were we were a team of very passionate people from our school and from outside. We used to do theaters very passionately, very very passionate. So I was uh, I could not imagine that I would stay without theater. Theater was always my first love. It still is my first love. I love watching theater. I love acting on stage. So theater करते करते एक नशा हो जाता है. और वो नशे के बाद क्या होता है? After a point of time, you start to take more control over the theater. and when i was in class 8 9 around uh, that age i realized that jo uh, jo plays mein enact kar raha tha wo plays mein mujhe zyada control karne nahi mil raha tha as an actor and my vision was not going with the vision of the director i was always uh, submissive to the director director jo bolega that is the final thing as an actor i am always obeying that 100% percent theek hai but mera andar wo ek chal raha tha ki ek creatively और भी बहुत कुछ शायद हो सकता था आई आई ऑलवेज हैड दैट इन माय माइंड सो वन देयर वाज वन ऑकेजन व्हेन आवर डायरेक्टर वाज अनवेल एंड देयर वाज नोबडी टू डायरेक्ट द प्ले एंड एवरीबॉडी इन द टीम थॉट दैट प्रोबेबली आई एम द बेस्ट फिट टू बी द डायरेक्टर एंड दैट दैट वाज माय फर्स्ट टाइम एज अ डायरेक्टर ऑफ अ प्ले तो एंड आई कंप्लीटली चेंज दिस चेंज द वे द प्ले वाज प्ले इट वाज नॉट माय स्क्रिप्ट इट वाज it was a famous uh, bengali uh, play and i completely transformed that script 
my way uh, a lot of people criticized it a lot of people appreciated it but everybody realized that it was something very very different so that is uh, when i started uh, you know having that directorial uh, nasha in and then uh, accidentally fortunately unfortunately i became a, i became an engineer and then i got placed uh, at multinational uh, private company and then i was no longer in a position to continue theater because theater requires lot of rehearsals you know hours and hours of rehearsal and i was so passionate i would not do anything half hearted it was not possible for me. so theater was no longer possible luckily that was the time when the digital technology was completely undergoing a revolution and camera became a pen when i say camera became a pen you i mean to say cinema became accessible to us uh, you get hold of a dslr camera or a handy cam and you can make a film which was impossible maybe 20 30 years back uh, we would not have been able to make a film with just a small dslr camera that was not possible but that was the time when it started became becoming possible and i found a route to channelize my creative uh, kira Uh, from 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 one zone to another parallelly of course i was painting i was writing poetry those were always continuing uh, side by side but uh, well, i i think that my uh, cinema mein aana was not because i love cinema I, i did not love cinema even today i i hate the cinema i see i watch uh, except for a few uh, directors like like godard like bunuel like tarkovsky or say kim kidok or borgman और 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 लुई बुनवेल शाइमिंग लियर ये कुछ कुछ नाम छोड़ के बाय एंड लार्ज आई कंप्लीटली डिसलाइक सिनेमा मुझे सिनेमा बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं मुझे नहीं लगता है दैट फिल्म मेकर सो कॉल्ड मास्टर्स हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ जस्टिस टू द मीडियम आई डोंट थिंक सो पीपल मे प्रेज देम दिस दैट आई थिंक दे आर दीस आर एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ ऑफ मार्केटिंग ऑफ पीपल्स इमोशंस because people easily connected to cinema which which reflected their lives uh, it was an easy way of entertainment easy way of connection so therefore it became popular but isme koi bahut khas baat nahi hai matlab i i would rather uh, be interested in a very bad uh, enactment of say uh, samuel uh, beckett uh, waiting for godo rather than watching a masterpiece by 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 this and that बिकॉज मुझे वो उतना पसंद नहीं है सिनेमा एंड आई थिंक मैं सिनेमा कर रहा हूँ बिकॉज मुझे सिनेमा पसंद नहीं है जो बाजार में चलता है एंड दैट इज आई एम ट्राइंग टू क्रिटिक द इंडस्ट्री फिल्म थ्रू द काइंड ऑफ फिल्म दैट आई मेक अगेन अ गोदार लाइक इंस्पिरेशन गोदार वॉज अ फिल्म क्रिटिक हू मेड फिल्म सो आई एम नॉट आई आई नेवर राइट ऑन सिनेमा बिकॉज आई डोंट गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू राइट ऑन सिनेमा दैट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट अंदर ही अंदर आई एम ऑल्सो क्रिटिक ऑफ क्रिटिक ऑफ सिनेमा critic of what's up and therefore i'm making this so for me uh basically uh i had a very different notion of cinema uh, because of whatever my exposure to cinema was mostly the mainstream world uh, mostly what what jo bhi bazaar mein market mein jo bhi aati thi and all that so meri exposure utni rahi hai uh but then over a uh, period of time uh, आई बिकम अट यू चूज समा मुझे लगता था कि ये ढाई घंटा तीन घंटे का जो सिनेमा हम लोग देखने जाते थे एटलीस्ट उसमें कुछ ढंग का वर्क काम हुआ होगा तो शायद इट इज वर्थ द टाइम एंड एफर्ट अदरवाइज इट वॉज नॉट लाइक एनी एंड एवरी सिनेमा दट कम्स और उसको देखना है या फिर उसको एंजॉय कर सकते हैं ये इस इस पर्टिकुलर एस्पेक्ट से थोड़ा सा मेरा परस्पेक्टिव बदल रहा था कि आई वॉज नॉट रियली एंजॉइंग एवरी फिल्म दैट वॉज कमिंग आउट एंड ऑल दैट but largely i was i was very under exposed to whatever the world cinema is that in fact from uh, in india also whatever the good cinema that has been made uh, mere mere matlab uh, for the better better part of my 20s i was hardly exposed to all that adur gopal krishnan ho uh, aap bol sakte hain mindan sen ho vipri ghatak ho ya fir uh, any girish kasravel or anybody's uh, cinema uh, around um, and then uh, uh, after after we i met with amartya and after we started with some initial uh, films uh, that we wanted to understand our or feel our feet and all with the digital medium and all uh, we connected well then then 
from through that process only then we we got to meet some of the finest filmmakers that we have here in odisha also um uh, and unke sath discussion hoti rahi meri aur amar ke sath every now and then we used to talk about cinema and all and with that i got a lot of opportunity or understanding uh, towards european filmmakers hamari jitni sari guste dar ke filmmakers rahe hain uh, the 80s ki uh, stage mein jab india mein bhi there were filmmakers who were trying trying something different uh, uh, so and uh, films like 27 down and all this ye sari film mein zyada tar discussion mein nahi aati hai uh, but but these were the films jinko jinko dekh ke samajh ke matlab i had a different i started developing a different perspective kamal swarup ji ki film uh, om dar badar and all so these are some of the films that actually shook me mujhe mujhe samajh mein aaya ki ki cinema ek alag level pe hi hoti hai baki to jo bhi ban rahe hain is somewhere we are trying to bring out some of the other product that will work in the market but jab hum log art ki perspective se dekhe dekha jayega to cinema has a very different meaning or cinema is made in a very different level तो उसी उसी आइडिया के साथ और उसी फिलोसॉफी के साथ जब हम लोगों ने आगे सिनेमा बनाने की वी वर कीपिंग ऑन मेकिंग फिल्म्स एंड ऑल एंड देन वी स्टार्टेड मेकिंग आवर फर्स्ट फीचर फिल्म इन 2014 एंड उसके बाद से वी हैव वी हैव कंटिन्यूड इन दिस जर्नी एंड वी हैव रियली एंजॉयड व्हाटएवर सक्सेस फेलियर व्हाटएवर इन डिफरेंट मीनिंग्स वी हैव एंजॉयड ऑल द प्रोसेस दैट वी हैव बीन थ्रू या सॉरी योर कनेक्शन आई थिंक वाज लॉस्ट इन ए at one point so uh, we missed the question there uh, what i asked to uh, uh, which was called amartya responded to was that as a producer what do you look for in a film when a filmmaker uh, approaches you if someone approaches you with an idea what are you looking at uh, before you know uh, and analyzing if you want to go ahead with it or not yeah so uh, what i will say is that um, koi bhi director he or she whenever they they want to make a film they have a certain vision or they have a certain perspective because of which they want to make that particular film kaise bhi film ho whether you call it a very out of experimental film or commercial film whatever it is ek director ki hamesha ek perspective hoti hai ek vision hoti hai ek idea hota hai ki with which they uh, he or she wants to make the film main main ye manta hu aur mera ye manna hai ki as a producer you also need to have certain vision you also need to have a certain philosophy towards cinema ki aap kis tarah ki cinema i i feel producers are the ones who are enablers who help or who support in bringing a film they are not the ones who can make a film director hi film banata hai because without that particular idea that germinates within the uh, director's mind and all a producer can probably give a suggestions given to uh, here and there and shayad kuch cheez aur uh, uh, different way se ya fir effective way se karne ka kuch suggestion de sakte hain but i always feel a producer is an enabler who facilitates the entire filmmaking journey or the filmmaking process so that the film gets made ab as a producer i also need to have a vision or philosophy which has to be aligned with the director main kis tarah ki film banana chahta hu main kis tarah ki filmon ke sath judna chahta hu i also because a film i always feel cinema is a greatest brand ambassador of any place any region to ek uh, uh, ek ek brand ambassador hone ke matlab mera naam bhi jud raha hai right so i am becoming a ambassador uh, through that cinema of that particular place of that society which i am representing to agar mai mera philosophy uh, or mera perspective is not matching with the directors then obviously the output will somewhere a compromised output so i always believe when you are working with any director this aspect of the visions should match right, right. um uh, of course and uh, earlier we were talking about the whole idea of uh, you know the kind of films that are being made in india and you know um amartya talked about how producers uh, don't look at the story then they don't look at uh, the right aspects they are more inclined towards money and the business side of it but uh, we cannot ignore that side right i mean filmmaking is an expensive uh, art form it's not like writing it's not like writing writing a novel or painting on a canvas so how do you bring a balance in between that you know between uh, giving good quality product and also uh, ensuring that uh, you know because the whole idea is that no one should be at loss right um, if there are investors if there is money being involved um, so how do you crack a balance between the two uh, without uh, without lowering the quality of the work that's being produced okay 
So, uh, am I audible, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, see, def definitely commercials are involved. So, without the commercials, you won't be able to make a cinema. Okay. But having said that, so first of all, uh, whether you want to make a film which uh, can be made in X rupees, X amount, or can this can the film be made by X by fifty? If I divide it by 50 times or 30 times or something like that, can a film be still made? So there are different ways of looking at how you want to uh, use your commercials or whatever budget that you have. So, for example, uh, there are there are many ways where you can uh, you can remove the unnecessary fat that you have in a filmmaking process. Okay. So generally, on the conventional style of filmmaking, hoti hai, we add a lot of fat because. That's how the industry is operating, or that's how we want to also operate with so much of luxury or with so much of you know cushion. So you can remove it to actually your, minimize your cost. That is one thing. The second thing is that you also have to taper into different types of markets. Uh, that so, supposing you have your film that can be released, say somewhere in Indonesia, say somewhere in, in, in Belgium, maybe. Because people are always hungry for some good content. It's just not that you are restricted because we are in a we are a global citizen right now. Films are also a global uh, uh, medium to convey uh, a particular uh, thought process and all. So your film uh, is not restricted to a certain geography anymore. Uh, ki Odisha ki film, Odia film hai to Odisha mein hi rahegi ya uh, India se bani hai to sirf India mein hi rahegi. So it can spread out to anywhere. So first of all, if I if I don't spend an exorbitant amount of money, I will not always have the pressure to think about how I will recover that money. Okay, that is one one aspect. If I will never think about making another film. So first of all, I will film. So first of all, I have to devise my own way of what is exactly necessary to make a film, discuss with the director. Uh, and I'm sure uh, when you're making such kind of films, the director will also be in, uh, in sync with the producer in order to, you know, uh, make it with, with the most optimum budget. It is not necessarily we'll, we have to have a hundred crew members, uh, somebody who will be, you know, running around with and somebody who so these are I feel somewhere it's, it's a luxury because we are not in the process of having uh, making a film that that is going to cater uh, like a mass uh, uh, mass product or something like that so we are in the process of making a film that has to be appreciated that has to be understood as a form of an art so when you are in the process of of being an, uh, of, of uh, making an art you also have to work hard okay so with the minimum uh, budget or the optimum budget, I would rather say, with which what we can operate, we do that. And secondly, we look at the different avenues that we have across the globe, wherever we can uh, take this film to have a theatrical, have a OTT release in, in every every country outside in the world is having their own respective OTT. So a uh, country in Croatia will also will be having their own OTT platform or somewhere in Belgium, they will be having their own OTT platform. So we can always explore that. So you just need to uh, recover whatever you have spent it and then start uh, continuing and rolling it uh, for the next film as well. Because the whole objective was, is to make continuously uh, some good cinema so that there is always, you know, you can uh, cater to the audience who really is craving for some good work. Right, right. Uh, all right. Uh, so the final question, uh, which of course is for both of you, uh, because the film is based on Godard, uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, which is your favorite film? Of the director uh, and a film that uh, influenced you the most, impacted you the most, uh, for whatever reason it may be, because you were going through something in life or when it um, entered your life. But one film, if you had to pick off, go that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me answer first. So it's one of the toughest questions because. Uh, I appreciate the filmmaking of Godard. I mean, if I so he he is he's different. He's evolving with different films. So of course, like uh, the first film of Godard that I watched was not Breathless. It was Masculine Feminine. So Masculine Feminine is very special to me because I, that is the first Godard film that I watched. So of course, there is a I I came to know about the filmmaker through that film, or I started admiring him through that film. That is one. Mm, of course, Breathless was good as well. Uh, a woman is a woman is a good film, and many. I mean, all his films are great films. Uh, one film that I particularly want to talk about is Our Music. 
our music is a very very special film of goda mostly uh, untalked about uh, not much discussed i think it is it is a it is a milestone film for a lot of reasons uh, the film has a lot of commentary a lot of uh, you know indulgent statements people will say why will a filmmaker indulge so much but i'll say why not and more so if you are jallu godar why will you not indulge uh, he has every right to indulge and those indulgent uh, statements uh, are mind blowing mind boggling i mean each statement would perhaps make you think for 10 years so he has that kind of you know he is a very charismatic film so all his films are uh, his film making is great so how can you just pick one film out of that but if i have to pick one film i'll film i'll pick our music yeah fuck okay. it yeah okay so um, for me john the godard was more like a you know uh, i mean reading his interviews or reading his his statements towards cinema and all so those have been more of an attraction to me for the re- reason being i haven't uh, seen much of his films so i have i have uh, seen masculine and feminine uh, that he made but more than that how he used to make this films or how he used to approach this films maybe his uh, is very uh, later ones like uh, goodbye language um and, and and the other films so i i was more drawn about how he used to think of you know making that kind of a cinema whatever he made what was his thought process into making that kind of a cinema so i have been more uh, reading those stuff than i mean then i have got opportunity to watch his films um uh, though i have watched just a couple of them and i i, I was more uh, i more like masculine film but these were very old films i haven't watched much of his later films and all that but it was more his interviews uh, the way he used to give a statement or the way he used to critic uh, cinema and all and his whole vision of why he is making a certain type of a cinema so those were some of the things that actually attracted uh, me more uh, to, towards him um all right uh, thank you so much guys uh, this was wonderful and uh, i think it's so important that we make films like this it is a, a director like godar i think he, he needs to be uh, studied he needs to be watched by younger people also you know uh, sometimes like you said amartya there are some bigger names that almost uh, are seen as the only pioneering figures of cinema of of the community and people just watch them and they think that they know what cinema is they understand uh, world cinema uh, so i think it's important that uh, a film like this also gives you a sense that you know uh, it it would hopefully open uh, an entire generation an entire, an entire group of people to watching a different kind of cinema and that's i think always a fascinating legacy for a film uh, for a filmmaker to uh, be a part of so uh, thank you so much for this uh, it was thank a great you. time I had a great time interacting with both of you, and yeah, looking forward to more stories and yeah, more col- more collab. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I just I just wanted to actually answer one of the questions that came in the comments very briefly. I will just answer answer. So, ah, uh, a question came that when cinema became a business, how do we deal with it? So I just want to uh, share it in few lines. कि क्या होती है कि सिनेमा बनाने की जो प्रोसेस है एंड एज अ प्रोड्यूसर हो या एज अ फिल्म मेकर हो सो द आई एम नॉट सेइंग द वे वी आर डूइंग दिस प्रोबेबली द मोस्ट बेस्ट वे और द मोस्ट ऑप्टिमल वे दैट कैन बी डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ मेकिंग अ सिनेमा बट एक अच्छी सिनेमा बनाने की जो कोशिश है जो पहल होती है वो हमेशा रहनी चाहिए देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु कैन मेक फिल्म बट एक नोशन या फिर एक आइडिया रह जाता है कि यार इतनी करोड़ की अगर बजट नहीं रहेगी तो मैं बना नहीं पाऊंगा या बना नहीं पाऊंगी या एक ऐसा एक्टर्स नहीं रहेंगे तो मैं तो ये फिल्म नहीं बन सकती है ऐसा कोई बात नहीं है इफ यू वांट टू मेक अ फिल्म यू कैन मेक अ फिल्म ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक सपोजिंग मैं एक ओडिशा जैसे एक जगह की अगर मैं बात करूं करूंगा सो सपोजिंग अगर यहां से देर आर फॉरगेट अबाउट द वे द काइंड ऑफ फिल्म दट वी आर मेकिंग अगर कोई भी अच्छी फिल्म यहाँ से जितनी बनती है अगर साल में अगर दस बारी और दस बारह और फिल्म बन जाती है एंड ऑल दैट सो आई थिंक वी वी विल बी वेरी एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी बिकॉज उससे क्या होता है कि यू आर देन गिविंग मोर ऑप्शन फॉर पीपल टू एंजॉय और रिलेश और चेरिश अ गुड सिनेमा तो कोई भी मतलब कोई भी जगह से आप हो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक अ फिल्म इट कैन बी मेड विद बजट दैट यू हैव इट कैन स्टिल बी मेड यू जस्ट हैव टू थिंक आउट वर्क इट आउट 
प्लान इट आउट वो बन सकती है और आप जितनी ऐसे सिनेमा और जितने लोग ऐसे सिनेमा बनाएंगे सो ऑटोमेटिकली ऐसी फिल्मों की मार्केट खुल जाएगी तो पॉइंट है कि अगर कोई चीज बहुत कम बनती है और बहुत कम उसके बारे में लोग जानते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली उसकी मार्केट कम रहेगी बट वैसी अगर चीज अगर बहुत ज्यादा बनेगी एंड वी ब्रेक अवे दट नोशन की हमें इतनी मल्टी करोड़ फिल्म बजट नहीं रहेगी तो फिल्म नहीं बनेगी ऐसे स्टार नहीं रहेंगे तो नहीं बनेगा ब्रेक अवे दट नोशन एंड वी स्टार्ट मेकिंग मोर एंड मोर गुड सिनेमा इज वॉट एवर रिसोर्सेज वी हैव डिजिटल वर्ल्ड में वी कैन मेक अ गुड फिल्म एंड एंड वी मस्ट डेफिनेटली वर्क टूवर्ड्स दैट and one thing to add like you said this generation must watch godar and uh, look at cinema world cinema so yahi ek 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 baat hai na when you have to uh, judge a thesis always analyze an antithesis also uh, so if uh, hollywood is a thesis then john luc godar is an antithesis so you must for analyze both mm-hmm. and then come to a conclusion and decide who is the master <laughs> And I think that's the whole point of the matter. There is no one master; everyone will have a different right. opinion. But for that, they need to be uh, open to every uh, everyone mm-hmm. out there. You know, like someone can like Iraq, Iranian cinema, someone can like French, someone can like uh, something else. But for that, you need to watch everything and then make an informed choice rather than just watch Hollywood movies and say that this particular director is the best director of all times, which is something that we see all the time, right? I mean. some director people yeah. just come up and say this is the best director of all times i mean like, this is the mar- this is what marketing does hegemony yeah. is mostly driven by marketing budget to your budget that is how yeah. industries create the hegemony that's how hollywood has basically built this entire yeah. uh, space for themselves as the best film making industry which is of course debatable i'm not saying it's true or not but it's debatable it needs it needs to be questioned like you said so yeah, i think the best way for that is yeah. for people to Watch more films. Watch more um, diverse kind of uh, cinema, and then come to a do uh, an answer for themselves. So yeah, and, and films like these, uh, people like you, I think, uh, give that opportunity um, to an audience, and that's extremely important. I think. Um, so all right then, I think we're, we're almost uh, coming to the end of the session, and I've taken a lot of your time. Um, so thank you so much thank for joining. It was time. lovely, and uh, yeah, looking forward to more conversations and more movies. Yeah, thank you so much. Sure, thank you all. Have a nice day. Sure. That's it for the questions. Thank you, India, for just bringing up this session as well.